This is Matrix Lord 212 and today we're going to talk about Doctor Who and we're going to talk about uh, the cracks in the skins of the universe. Um, the crack in time from the 11th hour. Now, um, what I want to talk about is uh, the definition of the cracks have changed um, as the series has gone on. Um, what I originally think it was uh, was they showed that when he opened the crack, when the doctor opened the crack, it revealed a prison leading to Prisoner Zero. Um, we don't know if this was necessarily uh, another dimension, uh, another universe, um, but for some reason, um, which doesn't really make sense, um, all throughout Amelia's life for years, um, maybe six years I think, Prisoner Zero, I guess, was coming in and out of the cracks. Now, if you're a prisoner and you want to escape, why don't you just leave the cracks and just go into the universe? Why would you keep going back and forth? And this is very familiar with River Song's case. River Song was in prison for killing the doctor, and River Song always disappeared every night, supposedly, with the doctor to go on adventures and then she would return to the prison. So what I'm thinking is, is that Prisoner Zero um, first got out of prison um, and somehow established a life for himself or herself in the universe, taking some other members of the prison with him, maybe the silence. They established some type of thing in our universe um, and he always returned to um, the prison so he wouldn't be noticed until such time as plans were hatched where he would be able to have an army maybe leave the prison and defeat the the um, uh, his jailers sort of like you know I guess with um, I don't want to go into the comic books with Superman and Zod and all that stuff but um, um, maybe Prisoner Zero wanted to build up an army um, and maybe the silence were that army um, but you know, it, it, things have to be explained. Who took care of Amelia Pond all those years? I mean, Prisoner Zero is in a prison for a reason. Obviously, you know, he probably killed people, did a lot of bad things. So why wouldn't he hurt a child? Unless, of course, she had a protector. Um, I think we saw the silence in the 11th hour. Um, and there's always these little things in each episode where you think the silence are in if you look back because we, I mean I think that Stephen Moffat's Doctor Who is backward compatible where you could go back to previous Moffat written episodes and you say oh wait a minute silence in the library and forest of the dead Doctor Moon uh, is acting awfully lot like the silence where you know he's talking to Donna Noble and all of a sudden she forgets he was even there Maybe Dr. Moon is the creator of the silence. I said that the silence is not a species, so maybe they were created, is what I'm thinking, because how could they not be a species? Okay, so going back to the cracks, they said that the, the doctor and the TARDIS doesn't know what caused the cracks. I mean, is time still bleeding from the other time? We don't know. Um, is Rory Williams behind it? I think so. Um, but I don't think that it's the doctor that caused the cracks to expand all over the place, unless, of course, the silence got into the TARDIS and the silence creating the cracks by just every time the doctor goes somewhere, they just leave the TARDIS and, I guess, reproduce or whatever. If you notice in the Wedding River song, they were all together, like tons of them in, like, this cocoon thing. So, you know, the cracks in the universe need to expl be explained. It was also revealed in the Wedding of River Song that exposure to the cracks, like when Amelia, when Amy Pond was exposed to the cracks, that gave her the ability, I don't know if it's radiation, where any time reality changes, she knows that time, the timeline has changed. And no one else in the universe does. Um, if it was radiation, then if the cracks are everywhere, wouldn't everybody remember? Um, you know, there's a lot of paradoxes going on in Doctor Who. If, you know, Amy Pond's parents were saved um, from being erased, then she would have never met the Doctor. Um, there would be no River Song. There wouldn't be any of that. So, 
you know, it goes to the fact that, you know, you're using the excuse that alternate realities are formed, but in reality, you know, yes, alternate realities do exist, but whenever something was changed, like in Father's Day, where the father was alive, like Rose Tyler's father, they had to change it back the way it was. So what I'm thinking is eventually, the universe has to be restored at the price of maybe um, something bad happening to maybe Amy Pond or Rory. Um, River obviously escapes whatever is going to happen because she meets the doctor in silence in the library. And that's another thing, silence in the library, all the silence in the library, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions. But going back to the crack, um, even in Vampires in Venice, um, the vampires, you know, the fish creatures said that they were running from the silence. Um, you know, we have to know what is going on with the cracks in the universe. What is it? Uh, obviously, the cra that crack led to uh, Prisoner Zero, but other cracks leading to other universes. Is everything spilling into this universe? Is this universe now merged um, as a result of the TARDIS almost getting destroyed when the Doctor regenerated? Um, there's a lot of things to consider. Um, you know, that would make sense that... Uh, or it could make sense that, uh, you know, maybe the library matrix expanded and everybody's in the matrix uh, or dream world. Um, I don't think we've seen the last of the dream lord. Uh, you know, I thought I saw him in last year's Christmas special with goggles, but I, was, I could be mistaken. Um, but, you know, you have to look at Stephen Moffin's writing and you have to really look at attention to detail and say, hey, wait a minute, something's familiar here. In, in The Girl in the Fireplace, uh, Renette uh, named the doctor her imaginary friend. She had a dollhouse. Um, a lot of elements from The Girl in the Fireplace was reused into The Eleventh Hour. Um, so, you know, all the episodes are connected. Even going back to um, The Empty Child, where we're introduced um, to Captain Jack. Um, you know, and even River Song's Vortex Manipulator. If you really pay attention to detail, when she got it from Dorian, he says that he got it off a dead time agent's hand. Obviously, they had the time agent's hand. Obviously, that may be Captain Jack, because at some point in time, Captain Jack becomes the face of Bo, and he loses all arms, legs, and he's just a head. And somehow he's able to um, stay alive with a, a head of consciousness and just. He's being taken care of, and obviously, someone's taking care of him where he doesn't die, because he does need help on his own. Every episode is connected. Every episode is backward compatible. Um, y y you could go as far back, probably, as the moment Stephen Moffat came aboard, which is Series 1, and everything is connected. Um, you will find clues just about every episode, even in Amy's Choice, when Rory, I believe, died for the first time. Um, he's been dying a lot lately, and, you know, is it the fact that he can survive because he's a Time Lord, but something's weird with the regeneration, where he just doesn't change form, or, uh, there's gotta be a reason, I mean, Rory was the first one, I believe, to go into the crack, and then all of a sudden he's a Roman, and then he's an Auton, but then it explain why he's an Auton, and if you look at the Doctor's wife, Rory... I'm jumping around a little bit because I'm, I get carried away, but Rory um, said they took him every night. Um, now, was he damaged like some days where someone had to repair him for 2,000 years? The fact that he could survive for 2,000 years without being damaged is impossible. Um, did the Cybermen take him? Did someone else take him? Is someone pushing his strings like a Black Guardian? I mean, is he like Turlo? I think I like the character of Rory. Everybody does, I think, and it keeps dying. Even the silence know that something's up with Rory, that he keeps dying. So I think that there's a darkness to the character. I think he's like Turlo. I think he may betray the Doctor at some point, which would have Amy Pond turn on him. Is Rory really the father to River Song? I have no idea, but the way River treats him, it's like... She calls him dad, but she doesn't really um, embrace him like she would her mother. So this leads me to believe that maybe he isn't. Um, the fact that a TARDIS can cook up a Time Lord and just pop it out 
no way that this that would happen all the time and then you wouldn't have to worry about the time was being extinct because then they could just come back and you know to tie them with the time vortex like like they were born in the time vortex and that's how re they regenerate i mean that's just silly so a lot of unanswered questions but the cracks we need to figure out what's going on with the cracks in the universe uh, an accurate description needs to be explained and then let's move on i mean there are so many unanswered questions let's solve some okay Let's solve all of them before the fall of the 11th, um, you know, and let's get some debates on it. Let's uh, have some suggestions below. Tell me what you think about the cracks in the universe, um, the Pandorica, the, the Big Bang, the TARDIS sealing the cracks. I mean, we really need to see what's going on here. Um, and thank you very much for subscribing, and I'll talk to you later.